maybe this is a dumb question. I'm not a guitar player. Why do you not cut your strings? Why do you always have <laughs> your strings yeah, sticking straight? You, I always feel like you're going to have an accident. An accident. Yeah, that's, that, right. No, that's not an accident. When I was in that band, The Electric Sheep, I didn't cut the strings of my guitar because I thought it looked cool. And I was shamed by a musician friend, and he said, cut your damn strings. Who do you, what do you think you are? You think you're in the baddest band in town? And right. I was like, I'm definitely not the baddest band in town, so I cut my strings. Years later, in Rage Against the Machine, I was in the baddest band in town, and so I let my strings go. I love that. And, like, you look at a guy like uh, Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day. He wears his guitar down almost to his knee. Yes. Um, it looks very it's, cool. It's super cool. cool to wear your guitar. But you do keep your guitar up high. You're like, fuck yeah. cool, right? You don't care. Yeah, That's I mean, where you're I, most I comfortable. Have, the guitar is at exactly the same height that it is when I'm sitting down and practicing. So it's like it's able to, you know, sort of reproduce the exact circumstances under which yes. I've been practicing. That's why, And I recognize it's not... It's not cool, but like I've never, that's not, hasn't really been a huge priority. Is it important to you what type of guitar you play? Is there a certain guitar no. that is a, nothing? Doesn't matter? Not at all. And this is controversial in the world of like sort of guitar players is that I don't believe it matters at all. And none of the, none of the gear matters whatsoever. Like with me, I, this was probably 1988. I went in, I spent a few hours twiddling some knobs and I just said, I'm done. I don't like this sound particularly. It's not what I'm imagining in my head, but I'm sort of obsessing and anxious about it. I'm going to never think about these knobs again. I'm never going to think about this guitar again. These are the settings. I'm now just going to worry about being creative with the sound that I have. And those that amp, it's right over there. Over what the is thing. that amp? It's a 50-watt Marshall head and a, a PV cat, which is like what I bought at the time. And the settings I marked on that day in 1988, the amp is still set to those settings. The guitar is the one that I've played on every record and every show, every tour. And I just said, I'm no longer going to burden myself with this. I have to have the right gear and I have to have the right guitar. It's like, I got the guitar I got and now I'm going to put all of my energy into sort of imagination and creativity. Same with guitar effects right. pedals. I have th basically three, there's three pedals for 35 years that are the same ones that I've just applied myself to by embracing those limitations helped me tremendously creatively. Because I'm never going to worry about that stuff. At the beginning of Rage Against the Machine, really for me was the turn where it went from being a technically skilled musician to becoming an artist. And I found my own voice on the instrument when I began self-identifying as the DJ in the band. And I right. stopped practicing scales eight hours a day. And I started practicing mistakes eight hours a day. And all of a sudden, I was just hearing the instrument in a different way. And it was creating a vocabulary of sounds that were not from the Chuck Berry book or the Eddie Van Halen book or whatever, and then and then the blinders were off. Tom Morello's One Man Revolution continues weekly on Sirius XM Lithium Channel 34. Next Tuesday, Tom is launching Tom Morello's Radio Commandante. Radio Commandante is on a bunch of different stations. One week it might be Springsteen songs. One week it's on Ozzy's Boneyard with my favorite classic metal. One week it's on The Coffee House with my Dylan and Woody Guthrie jams. Also next Tuesday, Tom is launching three new channels. What a show off. Tom Morello's <laughs> Battle Hymns Radio exposes activism and rebellion through the music across many eras and genres. Tom Morello's Heavy Metal Happy Hour Radio. Tom will handpick heavy metal. Tom Morello's Riffs, Rhymes, and Rebellion Radio, all from Tom Morello's personal record collection. Tom has a new podcast. Tom Morello's Maximum Firepower launches next Wednesday, featuring Tom's influences as an artist and an activist. You're going to be busy. I think you're going to have to give <laughs> yeah, up music. Where's, where's no, I mean, I've been, I've, when is he going to get tour? I've been locked yeah, down what are you here for practice? 11, I, I got between my 97-year-old mom and my 9, 11-year-old kids, like I'm running a nursing home and a daycare <laughs> and a kennel over here. So it's nice to escape up here and rock some heavy metal jams and talk about revolution. Well, listen, you've made great music and you're going to make great radio for Sirius XM.